Check out this beautiful 30 by 40 metal building. This is a very modern look. Welcome back, Pack. This is Adbill from Wolf Steel Buildings. And the 30 by 40 metal building is complete. It's really modern looking building. And this is a color uh, combination that's been very, very popular lately here in, uh, in Texas. Uh, recently, we built a uh, black and white building for a gas station that had cedar posts uh, with the lean to, and it looked just, just really, really sharp. And uh, we got another black and white building that we did. We're about to do a full tour of this building. I'm gonna talk a lot about the, the specs about this building. We're gonna go in the inside, show you guys how the inside looks. Um, so stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe. Now, if you wanna see a video, there's part one to this video where, I, where we were here before we poured the concrete to pick the location, Talk a little bit more of the setbacks, the challenges for, for bringing in the amount of dirt to level this build, this site. And so don't forget to check out that video. I think you will learn a lot about where to pick the location at your site. So let's get this building started. You're gonna really, really enjoy it. Let's go. So this is a 30 by 40. The 40 is, is the length going this way and 30 is where the gable uh, section is so where the peak is that's 30 long 40 so this is a 1200 square feet building okay this is a very very popular size it is 12 foot tall to the eaves uh, the peak is still rising but it is 12 foot tall to the eaves I want you guys to check out some of the details here all our projects we do with color matching screws and you can tell especially if you have like black or if you have like uh, like green um, it's those colors if you have the standard galvanized uh, screws that normally the industry provides um, this is just a different a different feel to it so I think it looks a lot more aesthetically pleasing and uh, we're, we're very big on that um, and this is also one of this is our steel core this is a steel core door it's got a deadbolt uh, with the with the doorknob but more more for security nice cuts here and now these are our gutters that we use for our tubular buildings so our tubular buildings we use more of an aluminum type of gutter system and it's really matching very very well with the black color for this type of gutters we don't have all colors for the gutter system for tubular but in this case we do have black and it matches very very well with our black color this is all 29 gauge panels there's going to be spray foam coming in next week um, and uh, the spray foam is also going to be painted white Guys, now what we have here is some extra concrete and this is an approach. This is sometimes, uh, we recommend it a lot, especially to be able to have an, an, like a clean drive up uh, up to your building. Because normally we have to be about four inches, three to four inches above grade. That way no water is really coming in through your building. So the approach has a um, kind of like a, uh, slope this way so all the water is sloping away and uh, that's something that we recommend to include especially if you have two two roll-up doors in your um, metal building so check out the inside guys this is a 10 by 10 roll-up door this is our rolling doors we do offer the sectional overhead doors this is just made out of steel um, so this is just our more of our standard doors but check out this notch detail here so if you get a little bit closer here this is the building is sitting a, a, an inch and a half higher so the, ro the door rolls down right here and then no water comes in so these are some of the detail work that we do when it comes out to our concrete come in the inside over here blanca the base wheel is sitting on top so that way, you know, any water that's, that, you know, lands here, it won't come inside the metal building. This is a full clear span, 30 wide uh, trussing. So what we do have is uh, welded bracing that is supporting the trusses. And, and then the, there are every five foot spacing. So when you have 
When you have a um, vertical panels on a tubular building, we run the girch, which is tubes. So this really helps the support because now it doesn't allow these, the, the columns to move, which in reality, they really wouldn't move because of the paneling, but the girch really add extra more um, support to your building. Uh, it makes it a lot more rigid. And as you can see, that's where the windows are up high, bringing in a little bit more lighting. Our client will be having spray foam coming in here. They're very about aesthetics. So the spray foam is gonna be sprayed and then we're gonna paint it and it's gonna be painted white. So stay tuned for that video, how we spray foam this building and then how it's gonna be painted. It's gonna be white in here. A lot of clients don't like the yellowish color of the spray foam and that is the reason why you can uh, you know, paint it to make it the color that you want. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you wanna check out more projects that are coming up, don't forget to subscribe and like. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and we're here to help you out and see if there's something we can do to serve you.